Hi, sir. This is the story. And uh, it's about a girl in Glasgow who worked in a printing works and made a terrible misprint one day in the Bible. And uh, so... Because of her misprint, people to this day think that the Last Supper was in Galilee. When in actual fact, when in actual fact, it was in Gallagate in Glasgow. <laughs> near the cross. Ah, <laughs> near the cross. Oh, but yeah. So. <laughs> See, I'm fast, great, I know. <laughs> so, seriously. The way the Last Supper really happened, you see, it was impossible that it could have been in Gal Galilee. Because, because in those days, nobody really knew where they were anyway. They used to wander about saying to each other, where are we? <laughs> What's the name of this place? I wish an explorer would come and tell us where we are. Eh? <laughs> but the way the Last Supper it actually happened in a, in a small tavern, I'm known as the Saracen's Head Inn. <laughs> It's quite a popular place for cocktails of an evening, you know. <laughs> but the way the Last Supper really happened, and all the apostles were in there, drinking wine and tearing lumps off the mother's pride, <laughs> singing and shouting and bawling, We are the Christians! Oh, oh, into these Romans! He's another glass of that wine, oh, oh. They're awful scruffy, the apostles, in reality, you know. Not drinking the root. But this wee apostle came up to a big apostle. I need to tell what to score here. You tell me the bacon was coming in. No, he's a break now. You say the bacon's coming in, he's not appeared, know what I mean? Uh, I think he's good as a body smell, no I mean. <laughs> the bacon says no look, son. I've been in this game a wee while now. And I'm telling you, if a big and change is coming in, he'll make an appearance. You stand in me, kiddo. Right, give us another glance of that wine. <laughs> Why would he need to come in here for anyway, eh? He's probably out doing the miracles. <laughs> Doesn't he come in here? He can sit in the house with a big galvy bucket full of water and change it into wine like that. He sell. Doesn't he come in here for his... Oh, he's another glance of wine. <laughs> Sitting in the door, the door opens. <laughs> And then he comes, the big one. Hello there, boys! <laughs> With a long dress and the casual sandals. <laughs> and the aura. Or in. <laughs> comes on the chase. Hello there, lads, and how are you getting on in that? No. And the wee apostle come up and says, I thought you weren't coming like big one. No. I thought you weren't going to turn up. But see, I nearly wasn't he turning up, Sonny boy. <laughs> Out all morning, Danny and Miracles, I'm knackered. <laughs> He's a glass of that wine. <laughs> no kidding, son, I'm knackered. See the Miracles I've done this morning. <laughs> Take a look out that door, there's nothing but deep punters walking up and down. <laughs> With their beds under their arms. <laughs> all looking in shop windies. He says, there was a joker up there this morning come up with me. He says, going to cure my boy. I says, hey, what's up with him? I says, what's up with him? He says, he's deep and dumb, like, no. I says, no problem, wallop, wallop, hey, no. <laughs> Not the boy's first words are. It's all right, fam, I'm proud of him. <laughs> I mean, that has to. So after a while, they're all drinking the wine and wandering about, <laughs> screaming and shouting. They all sat down because they sat down around this big table because they were having trouble standing up at this point, you see. So they all sat down, and you might have seen the picture and the big one's holding onto the table. <laughs> He's steaming his feet in case he falls out that window at the back. <laughs> so they all sat down, they're all singing songs and talking and that, and drinking the wine and turning lumps of the bread. And the big one says, right away, I'm in the best of order here. <laughs> Crumbs. 
silence. And a wee apostle sitting opposite. He says to the block next to him, Hey, I hope he gives us one of your own stories, eh? <laughs> oh, these stories are magic. I lap them up, so I do. See, don't worry about his feather up in the sky. <laughs> what a story yawn is, eh? Oh, all the punters with the wings and all that. What a story. Hey, Ben, can you give us a story? Shut your face. Bang! <laughs> and his face was shut. <laughs> But it is written. It says, open your face. <laughs> it says, right, well, that'd be a lesson to you. It says, oh, all right, that's terrible. <laughs> it says, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to give you the story today. I'm going for to give you the prophecy. <laughs> Ooh, you hear that? It says, do you hear that? Prophecy, eh? No bother, you're a big one, eh? <laughs> prophecy's never been just like that. Eh? What's a prophecy anyway? <laughs> big one says, look, a prophecy tells you what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> says, what about 3.30 tomorrow? <laughs> big one says, see you, Judas, you're getting a mad tits. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. He says, right, here's my prophecy. See, on the way into this boozer today, you might have noticed there was a wee chicken standing outside the door. See, if all that goes cock-a-doodle-do three times, I'm for the off. <laughs> One of you's going to shock me. Well, I say, oh, wait, I'm like, no, no. One of you's going to shock me and two of the big Roman polis are going to wickle me right out of here. Right into the jail. And I'm going to do a one night lion. <laughs> Me with a good dress on, too. <laughs> I'm going to get up in the morning and say to myself, first offence, I'm on to probation, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> big, but a big Roman's going to come into my cell and say, probationum, my arseum. <laughs> you know the way they talk, these Romans. <laughs> Probation, nothing big in. Come on, I'll give you your sentence. Come here. Look out that window. So we looked out the window. He says, see that big lump of wood down there? I said, aye. He says, well, get your shooter under it and take it to the top of that hill up there, would you? I said, oh, wait a minute. I was only kidding. On, I was a giant or no. He <laughs> said, on your way. So we went. Got the wood on the shooter. I was just about to set out. He says, oh, oh, where are you going? I says, you tell me to go to the top of the hill. No finish with you yet, big him. <laughs> Wallop! Jaggy Bunnett, right in the heat. <laughs> I went, oh, come on! I just had these split ends done this morning. <laughs> on your way. <laughs> so, <laughs> away up the hill, kidding on, I don't care. <laughs> About a third of the way up, somebody's been out with a big Alsatian. He's done a big job here right in the street. <laughs> Guess who stood in it? <laughs> Doing a win. Well, I'll tell you something. That dog must have had a severe attack of the Dihoria High Head. <laughs> Another twice. Doing a win. Well, <laughs> up a third time, I'm setting out like that. I'm still kidding on, I don't care. A big joker on the pavement. He says, hey, you all right there, Jimmy? I said, as a matter of fact, I'm no. He says, do you fancy a wee hon? I says, that's a game. Get the shooter under the other end. I said, what's your name anyway? He says, oh, Simon's the name. Just ran out of pies. Nothing to do now. I said, that's a game. <laughs> so the two years bolted up the hill. We got to the top and he shot a crow away him. I popped the wind down in the grass. <laughs> well, I was knackered like the sail shooter and that. I fancied a wee kip, but I didn't want to lie in the wet grass with a good dress on, no. So I said, I think I'll have a kip in this dud of wood here. So I lied down like that. 
Woke up an hour later. Oh, wait a man! Some joker's been up and nailed me in a wind. Stole a good dress and pond. Lying there, my wife runs like a rage.